Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I took this ugly old coffee table I had and updated it to a beautiful tufted bench. I'll have everything I used in the description box below. If you guys go to Joann's and get your supplies like I did, make sure you use coupons, 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 and more coupons. That is the best way to keep the cost of this project down. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you want a tufted bench too, stay tuned. To begin the project, I'm going to cover this board that I got cut at Home Depot with the foam that I purchased from Joann's. This foam is 2 inches thick and it is $40, but I used my 60% off coupon. And to me, I believe the thicker the foam, the better the tufting looks. I have no idea what the dimensions for the board is because I just took the glass from the table to Home Depot and had them cut it that way. Once that's ready to go, I'm going to spray the board with some tacky glue adhesive spray and stick the foam on top. Then I'm going to cover it in um, some batting, which I purchased from Joann's as well, which was on sale for like 60% off. And I'm just going to staple it to the board. And I purchased a yard. I used a yard of batting for this project. And you want to pull it tight, but be careful not to rip it. And then you'll cut away the excess. And once that's done, I'll just, I'm covering it with my faux leather fabric that I also purchased from Joann's. This was on sale for 40% off, but then I also had a 20% off coupon, my total, a 20% off my total purchase coupon, which included sale items. So I also got this fabric for like 60% off. And this is my first time using a staple gun, so it's a bit of a learning curve. But if you staple closer to the top, when you pull your fabric tightly and staple closer to the top versus down at the bottom like I did with my batting. And if you make a mistake, I just used a flathead screwdriver, stuck it under the screw, wiggled it loose, and then restapled as needed. And these corners are tricky. I had a hard time with them, probably because I suck at wrapping Christmas presents as well. And once I have it all stapled, I'll just cut off the extra fabric as well. And I used a, a yard of my faux leather. And so because I didn't want to sew, I just used my staple gun. I pushed it all the way to the bottom and I just stapled it. And I used the measuring tape as a guide to how I wanted the design to look. And now I'm just adding these acrylic stones that I purchased from Michaels a long time ago. And um, I'm just hot gluing them in. And that's it, you guys. This project was so easy. It's lo it looks intimidating, but it's really not. The way I did it was super simple. And I cannot wait to do more. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook. And there will be more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.